Reality K1 is fully enclosed FDM 3D printer. It has removable lead and glass door. Printer has 4.3 inch touchscreen which makes it easy to use. K1 can handle fast printing speeds up to 600 mm per second. Filament is pushed through the hot end by the dual gear direct drive extruder. Hot end temp can be set up to 300 degrees. Heat size is 220 by 220 mm and it's covered with a flexible bed sheet. The max temp of the heat bed is 100 degrees. Bed temperature seems to be quite too consistent at different points around the 16 degrees as I said it before. Build platform is moved up and down with the three lead screws. There are three cooling fans which can be controlled from the screen, main fan and side fan to cool 3D prints and back side fan for the enclosure. One important thing is always how to pr printers are packed and it seems reality was forgot it at first. Some of the K1's customers were saved and had broken glass doors, but Cruelty changed the packing and this problem is now solved. It's packed inside the cardboard box which is inside playboard box and all playboard box is again packed inside cardboard box. After you have gone through three layers of packing you can easily lift it out of the box with the plastic bag. Inside the plastic bag is after sales service card, one sheet of Cruelty stickers and user manual. You can find more things inside the box which you can find inside the printer. There are four rubber feet which is meant to be installed to the smaller feet the printer has. And there is the small filament holder which is installed on the back side of the printer. You can get one spool of filament to start printing and one box of some tools and spare parts. Also you can get USB flash drive. K1 has filament sensor which detects filament runouts and it gives you the opportunity to resume printing. I tried if it works and I cut the filament to see what happens. I used filament extrude retract function to change the filament. Filament didn't want to come out through the filament sensor so I removed the button tube and pulled it out. After I have loaded the filament it started printing again without any problems. Resume printing function also also works when you lost power. When power comes back, you have opportunity to stop or continue printing. Printer hits up and continue where it left off. The cube came out good, there are some strings but there aren't any cracks or under extrusion. If you print with fast speeds up to 600 mm per second, it's recommended to use high speed filaments like Reality Hyper Series. You can also print the regular filaments but the quality can be decreased. Reality has stepped one step forward and K1 series printers have self-testing function. Printer tests itself and if something is wrong it will tell you. Also it does the calibration and bed is auto leveled. You have different options to start printing. You can print directly from the print memory, use USB flash drive, reality cloud or LAN printing. LAN printing is my favorite. It is easy to use. After you have sliced your model you can directly send it to the K1 and start printing. In the reality print you can observe and control your printer. The video is seen if you have installed AI camera. With the fast printing speed comes loud noise. Most of the noise is made by the cooling fans. If you close the door it sound, the sound degrees but still quite loud. I also measured the power consumption which I have reached. When printer is preheating it's around 370 watts and during the printing it's mostly under the 100 watts and peaks up to 370 watts. If you install Creality IA camera, you can make timely videos and it can detect spaghetti and also things that should be not on the bed. I placed Benji on the bed before I start land printing. After model was uploaded to the printer, error was triggered. To test if printer detects spaghetti, I took my pre-made spaghetti and placed it on the bed during printing. It took quite a lot of time to trigger error, but it didn't stop printing. It can be a software bug which could be fixed with, with the next update. At first I got some ok prints, but then I noticed some under extrusion. I thought maybe I printed it a little bit too fast. Next thing I printed was the bed test print, which was pre-sliced on the printer memory. K1 was calibrated before and I got this print which isn't good at all. I calibrated it again and second one came out even worse. So I leave it as it is and I started trying to print with other filaments. First ABS print I stopped middle of the print because nozzle clock. I lowered the speed and tried again. No no clogging but the quality is not good. I tried the PTG which came out much better but still some under extrusion. But when I tried TPU it went way worse. I tried many times and different settings and it's the best one I managed to print. I contacted the Cruelty and told my story to them and they sent me new upgraded extruder and hot end. AI camera also. Chasing the extruder and hot end wasn't difficult to do but it takes some time to do it. I also updated the printer which is very easy to do through K1 interface. Printed all things again and the results were much better. Bed test perfect except one edge was loose. 
bearing has no under extrusion and it moves much smoother. ABS Benji was better but it still has some problems. I tried different ABS filament and it came out good, so K1 didn't like my blue ABS. PLA Benji printed without any problems and took only 17 minutes. It's the fa fastest Benji I have ever printed and the quality is great. TPU after upgrade is looking good. It's completely different than before. ESA also good. Flexi factory horse came out very good. Layers were layers are very consistent. No cracks or blows. Some small strings, maybe temp was a little bit too high. It printed 3 hours and 34 minutes, which is very fast and the quality is still good and even better than some 3D printers with much less speed. I tried waste mode and it came out ok. Flexi banana I printed with Isan Silk PLA, it stick to the bed very well, but quality isn't good. Collapsing Pirate Sword had problems, it was completely fused together. It seemed odd and I looked what went wrong. I opened it on Geralt Print Slicer again and saw that layer 18 connects all moving parts together. I also opened it with Geralt Slicer and there wasn't that layer which connected parts together. Here you can see the layers where it's fused together. I don't know what caused it, if you know, you can comment below. Only slider 0 0.1 don't move, but other sliders move. All other parts are also moving. Creality K1 seems to be a good 3D printer with different features, but you need to do the upgrade and update firmware it to get the best results. I like the printing speed and fully enclosed design, it's also easy to use. Bed adhesion is very good even without the glue, which is recommended. There are also some things what I don't like. Glass door could open a little more and it don't want to stay open. You can't change speed during printing from the touchscreen, only from Gravity Print Slicer. Enclosure light could be better, so timeless videos with the AI camera could be better. Power cable is a little bit too loose inside the socket. Overall, there are a few things I don't like and much more to like. If you have any questions, comment below and I try to answer them. Thanks for watching.